Hey everyone, this is Angel for Apex Gaming with a brand new video for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. For more guides and walkthroughs of the game, please check the playlist in the top right corner of your screen. Upgrading your armor can help you withstand the attacks of some of the fiercest enemies in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, but in order to get your outfits to the max level, you'll need the help of the four great fairies that can be found in the game. The Great Fairy Mia is located in the Tabantha Tundra. Great Fairy Terra is on the border of the Great Hyrule Forest region. Great Fairy Kotera can be found in the Nekluda region. And Great Fairy Kaisa in the southern part of Hyrule Field. With each Great Fairy you find, the number of outfit upgrades you can perform on each piece of gear will increase by one and so on, up to 4 which is the maximum. But in Tears of the Kingdom things aren't as easy as in Breath of the Wild, because all of the great fairies will be hiding inside their flowers, fearing the worst from the world, and will only come out if they listen to a lovely tune. This is when the Stable Trotters, a group of musicians that tour the different stables of the game, come into play. Different fairies will need to listen to a specific musician in order to come out of their butt, so, this leads us to the locations of the band members. The band used to be formed by five members, but three of them are missing, leaving only Violin and Mastro as the ones keeping the band alive. To find each one, you must go to a specific location and then complete a simple side quest. The first one, Estus the Hornist, is stuck in a crater in the Hyrule Reach region. I've already done a video detailing an easy way to help him out, so Please check the YouTube card in the top right corner for a link to that video. Beats, the drummer, can be found on your way to Kakariko Village, near the Lake Siela waterfall. There is a hidden path, but use the music you'll hear when you get to this point to guide you to his secret location and start the quest, Honey Be Mine. Then, hand over three cups of honey for him to join the group. If you don't have cursor honey in your inventory, there is a great spot for farming this near the Rabella Wetlands Skyview Tower at this point right here. Third on the list is Piper the Flute Player, located on top of a tree in the Highland Stable in the Faron region. For his side quest, the flute player's plan, you'll need to hand 10 sunset fireflies. Luckily for you, if you are out of fireflies, you can buy them with Beetle in that same stable for 10 rupees each. Just make sure you sleep at the inn to reset his inventory every time he runs out of it. With the whole band together, you can complete all of the great fairy side adventures available in the game. A serenade to a great fairy from the Woodsland stables on the border of the Woodlands and Elden regions only needs Violin and Mastro to be completed. That's the easiest one. Serenade to Kotera from the Dueling Peak stable in the Nekluda region requires the drumming skills from Beats the drummer. Serenade to Kaisa from the outskirts stable in central Hyrule needs the sweet sound of Piper's flute. And finally, Serenade to Mia from the Snowfield stable in the Tabantha Tundra region needs Eustus Horn. 
for each of these side adventures you will need to do a quick fix on the stable trotter's wagon so you can give them a ride to the flower bath of the ferry. None of them are too complicated so just have a little bit of patience and be careful with your driving. Once you reach each ferry, the band will play a tune and the ferries will come out so you will be ready to do any upgrades you like on your favorite pieces of gear. Be sure to check out more Tears of the Kingdom videos that I will be uploading to this playlist right here as a progress for the game. But for now, I hope this was useful, thank you for watching and keep enjoying the game.